You're watching CNC3. Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday News here on CNC3 and the TBC Radio Network. I'm Bavita Kapolchan. Thank you so much for joining us. Top of the news at this time. Four men were killed in a camp in Mayaro early this morning. Two women said to be sisters and a one-year-old baby boy were spared. The men all gardeners of 59-year-old Buddy George, his sons 37-year-old Marcus Buddy, 20-year-old Jeremiah George and 29-year-old Dion Mendoza. Initial reports indicate that around 12.30 a.m., the men were asleep when they were wakened by someone shouting police and saw six men dressed in poli po police tactical wear armed with firearms. They ordered the men to lie face down on the ground and shot them. They left in a pickup van. The camp is located in Bristol Village. The family lives in Cuba but would often stay in the camp to tend to their garden. Investigators are still working on a motive. And Mayaro's Member of Parliament, Rashtan Pari, is expressing shock and sorrow in response to the murders. He says reports of four individuals murdered near Bristol Village have left the community devastated. He adds that the senseless violence that has gripped the once peaceful rural community is nothing short of appalling. MP Pari extends his condolences to the families and loved ones of the victims. Now to this, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley is encouraging the private sector to partner with government to embark on construction projects. Dr. Rowley, who was speaking a short while ago at the South Turning Ceremony for the construction of the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services headquarters, says the approach can bear several benefits, including financing and employment. Dr. Rowley notes that in an effort to encourage sustainability, the private sector can merge its resources and work hand-in-hand -hand with government. Month. He also says the issue of government rent remains on the radar and that intense negotiations have reduced the cost of unit rentals. Meanwhile, Minister of Social Development and Family Services Donna Cox says when construction of the building is completed in two years, it will save the state nearly $15 million in annual rental costs. Issuing political ultimatums is not a good way to enter into coalitions or political partnerships. This from political scientist Dr. Shane Mohammed, who says each party or person should concentrate on what they can contribute and how they can put the party on the path to victory. This analysis comes after the leader of the PEP, Philip Alexander, called for the UNC's leadership to decide on if political leader of the NTA, Gary Griffith, is again going to be part of any accommodation with the opposition party, suggesting he, Philip, would want nothing to do with any arrangement that involves Griffith. Dr. Mohammed says it is not a good way to start. That's not a good start to, to, to even, and that's even not, that's not even good grounds to start because mm. Your strengths may not be, and I, I will hate to go into the business world here, but in, in taking it from a business perspective, um, each person who goes to the table must understand their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities that they can provide, and the threats that they could create, or the threats that they could create for themselves or the other side of the, uh, 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 the opponents. Mohammed says personalities must be set aside in the interest of the country's well-being. That is something that you're just going in there because of bravado or gravitas because somebody has said you are capable of doing X, Y, and Z. One might be able to do that in one way. And then, so if, for example, you want to take the Gary and Philip scenario, if you really and truly care about the interests of the country and where we go as a people and as a nation beyond 2025 and beyond 2030, then it should not be about me over them or I over who or as the case may be. It should be a collective um, approach and a collective agreement. Jack Warner has offered to assist in mending the rift between both men. It's been nine years that Trinidad Seaman Limited owes its retirees profit sharing. That's according to several retirees who say after six years of protests, they are ready to intensify their actions. The group of retirees gathered at TCL's gates this morning carrying placards. They say that some of their colleagues are dying while waiting for their money and some are sick and in need of money to purchase costly medication. We try to get people to come out in order to do it 
the honest and legal way. And much people don't hear our voice, right? Much people might hear our voice. All we want Trinidad Cement to do and CMEX, I want Trinidad Cement Management to hear what we say in this morning. There's a God above. And I don't know who might believe in God or whatever, but there's a God above. And what you don't like for yourself, don't give it to others. God going to judge you all. Mike says the Oilfield Workers Trade Union met with TCL's management for an update on payment last month. However, the company wants certain concessions from the union. He laments that the retirees are just fed up. Not everybody had the same, the same tolerance level. And people might say they get on bad. They will send police. And then for a man to get on bad for what is rightfully his. And then you lock him up and put him in, and put his name in the station and all kind of thing. Why? And you squeezing you me? You squeezing us, you squeezing us, you causing us not to be able to sleep at night. Our families cannot get what they need to get. Mike says some retirees worked at the plant as casual workers for decades. They left the company without pensions, so they are relying on profit-sharing funds to maintain their families. Over to this, Tobago House of Assembly Minority Leader Kelvin Morris is challenging the Executive Council to bring evidence that suggests the Tobago Jazz experience is not feasible. During a media conference this afternoon, Morris said he was concerned by the jazz being taken over by private individuals who may not have Tobago tourism stakeholders' best interest at heart. This comes two days after the THA announced its decision to cancel the event, declaring it unsustainable. Morris demanded that Chief Secretary Folly Augustine and Secretary of Tourism, Culture and Antiquities and Transportation, Sashir Boris, publicized data to prove this claim. Produce the data. Produce the data that demonstrates, that shows Tobagonians that this Tobago jazz experience was unfeasible and unsustainable. Where is the data? What would have informed this decision is it just a decision by VAPS like other things? He found that the PM would return the festival if they are successful in the upcoming TJ election. It's time for a short break. We'll be right back with Sport News. Encash is a mobile wallet that gives users the convenience of making digital payments. You can use Encash with any local debit card or credit card to pay anyone and or any business on Encash no matter who they bank with. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Yes, I accept Encash. I accept Encash. I accept Encash. Find businesses that accept Encash with the nearby business feature. Visit Encash.com to learn more. Download the app and create your wallet today. It's as easy as scan, pay, done. Welcome to ABC Doors and Windows, TNT's number one destination for the best quality and widest variety of doors and windows. Enhance your space with our premium wooden steel panels, fiberglass, and steel security doors. Complemented by our aluminum, UPVC, and steel windows. Shop for the best quality and service at ABC Doors and Windows. Visit our impressive showroom at 1 Chanka Trace, El Socorro South, or call 638-7184 to get started. Trust ABC for a better choice. Things don't always go as expected. Be ready with Trinry for auto, home, business, and group life. Call us at 800-TRIN or visit trinry.com today. Huge insurance premium. Pay your premiums bit by bit with FlexiPay from Trinry. For more manageable auto, home and commercial insurance payments, call us at 800 Trin or visit trinry.com today. Trinry, premier insurance coverage for less. Ferrera Optical is inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Explore our bold and trendy collections of eyewear. Experience the latest lens technology. Earn and redeem points with your Massey card at Ferrera Optical inside Massey Stores, Gulfview and Marabella. Only Biostrath gives your body more than 60 of the essential nutrients it needs every day in a product that's 100% natural for stronger immunity, enhanced focus, increased energy and stamina. Biostrath, get what you need naturally.
Welcome back in sport. After suffering their third defeat, Trinidad and Tobago Red Force Divas face Guyana in round four of the Women's Super 50 at the Connery Sports Club in St. Kitts and Nevis today. The Divas won the toss and opted to field first. Guyana, who earned their first win in the last round, is currently batting at 108 for three in 33 overs. And in football now, Turbinex La Hockata Rangers stumbled following a 2-1 defeat against the 1976 Phoenix last night in the Trinidad and Tobago Premier Football League at the Phase 2 Recreation Ground. Gerald Atta headed in the first for the Tobagonians in the 10th minute, giving them the lead in the first half. After the resumption, Rangers' Kadeem Corbin smashed the ball into the back of the nets to equalize in the 48th. But Trevin Caesar later secured the win for the Phoenix netting in the 60th. Well, that's it for sport. It's back to break. Are you tired of high fuel usage? Who isn't? At Vitec, we have the potential to save you between 15 to 50 percent in your monthly fuel expenses. It doesn't matter what fuel type your car utilizes. Vitec represents the number one globally patented technology where we can reprogram any vehicle to be more efficient and powerful. Whatever your daily driving conditions consist. If you operate privately, commercially, with small or large fleets, or even heavy equipment, Vitec is the best option for you. Start enjoying driving today. Visit us at www.savefuelnow.com or www.vitechtt.com. Contact us at 230-9614 or send email to admin at vitechtt.com. Vitech, fueled by technology. If you could see what the future holds, you'd see that while things change, you've still got it. You are strong. Resilient, inspiring, and you won't be defined by time. You'll own every minute of it because you were made for more. Discover how Alive Multivitamins by Nature's Way help you age vibrantly. Did the holiday spending put a dent in your cash? Well, hear what? Top up your pocket in the Cash Splash promotion. Win over $200,000, including over 65000 in our weekly draws. Well, hear what to do. Grab any cool, cool, turbo energy drink, fruta, cool kids, Viva, or Oasis water. Then visit Facebook or Instagram at Cold Cold Caribbean or Fruta Fruit Juice Official for more details. Let's top up your pocket with the Cash Splash promotion. Regionally, the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is scheduled to meet with Caribbean leaders in Jamaica on Monday. As part of an urgent push to solve Haiti's spiraling crisis, while well, pressure grows on Prime Minister Ariel Honoré to resign or agree to a transitional council. Although Honoré is locked out of his own country after surging violence at home, he's expected to attend the closed-door meeting. It was organized by members of CARICOM, who for months have pressed for a transitional government in Haiti as protests demanded Honoré's resignation. Attacks by powerful gangs on key government targets began on February 29th across Haiti's capital. Gunmen have burned police stations, closed the main international airports and raided the country's two biggest prisons, releasing more than 4,000 inmates. TNT can expect predominantly sunny and at times breezy conditions despite the odd brief shower. Seas are moderate with waves reaching 1 meter to 2 meters in open waters and below 1 meter in sheltered areas. The maximum forecast temperature is 33 degrees Celsius in Trinidad and 32 degrees in Tobago. Well, thank you so much for joining us for a look at the day's development so far. We love these stories and so much more coming up for you in a major newscast at 7 p.m. today. In the meantime, have a great day.